Okay, hello my friend. Uh, hopefully you are doing great. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to group your test into several te test suits and then you can uh, execute them separately because uh, in the real uh, process, maybe sometimes you can group your test to smart test, to regression test, or some very special test that you need to uh, set up correctly in based on your test environment or something like that. So you cannot put all of your test script in an array space like that. We need to separate them. So just in case in the future you want to come back and want to find the knowledge around the web driver IO uh, documentation, that's where you should go grouping test space or you can search here something like grouping test spec and then you will see something we have something new we has we have another option here that is used and inside the source it is an object you see it's an object and in this object we will have the other properties so the first thing, this thing is the source name. And in the source name, you see it looks like a space that we already have in our test configuration. So we can have the many source and it's just an array that contains test scripts uh, that you want to group them. So let's just go back to our main configurations. In this case, okay. Let us see whether I need to put them in the main configuration or something else, uh, some somewhere else, somewhere else. Okay, let me think. Um, let me think whether we need to do something else. Uh, okay, because I want to execute in parallel uh, as well. Okay, just put it back in parallel. No, it's not good. Uh, okay, just create a new tag configuration here. So put another JavaScript file or with the name uh, cropping uh, that script. And I want to execute them in parallel on multiple devices as well. So just enter. And then let me declare a configuration file here constant and I want to destructure from the main oh I'm missing from up. same folder constant from the main what is wrong here constant equal oh because we are out of the scope of ESS we just have the ESS uh, JavaScript set up for our source code inside not outside of the source code here so let me constant equal require uh, require the packet here and the main here. So I want to destructure the config object here and let me uh, try to put some things config dot capability I want to co copy the capability from the parallel testing so I want to put something like configure dot source equal an object right and in this object we will have something for example I will have a smart uh, smart test equal an array and I will have something like um, regression that should be an array here, regression that an array here. 
and inside view, we will have some test script inside. So just copy the capability for parallel running first. Just copy those capability, uh, capabilities there and then we put here. So for smart test, let's try to create a new, just copy a new test script and I call it the test script 02 here. And then let's see, we can do something like um okay i called it is smart test and i will not do anything real testing inside okay um let me call this is test case 02 and let me call something like smart 001 and it is smart 002 and this is critical and critical as well because something for smart testing, that's something that's very basic in your application and you want to see them, uh, them on pass. So this should be something like smart 001 and smart 002. I just want to customize the name correctly. And then when we see the report, it should be something awesome for us, beautiful. So it should be a car function should be something smart test. Let me change something. Smart test for the device name and inside I will uh, do something very stupid simple that gonna do something as best uh, to, to, uh, to be two. So that means the test will be bad. Okay, so I just wanna have an example for you to see how can we crop the test, not a real test here. So I already have the smart tag here and I will call this test for request and test. Okay. So just go back to our main configuration and I want to copy this one and go to cropping test script here. For smart test, I will, this is for request and test. So I just have one one test case here. Uh, okay, let me plug the charger for my mark. Okay. Okay. So, and for the smart test, we will have the test case 02, right? For smart test. Let me delete this one. Okay, we have some mock test, we have regression test, and I want to run them parallelly as well. Okay. So here you need to start your Appium server for the port 6000. You already knew how to do it. And the Appium server for 7000 box. And before running it, let's go back to the documentation page. So this is the example of how to run it, okay? But if you run something like that, because we already have something npm test and we call the test configuration file, but this one is will not work for you. So for our case, we will do something like this. Let me try to, you know, try to change this one a little for our case. And uh, we have something like npm and npm and we will have something like that config slash and we will have the name for this one let me copy it okay uh refresh to rename copy it copy all of them and so we go back so you have something here And here, this is very important thing. We need hyphen hyphen and then we space here. We need hyphen hyphen and then we space hyphen hyphen again for the shoes. If you do something like that, because we are running, we are tell the pocket manager to fight. We are missing something. Let me inspect and do more. NBM should be NBM test. So when I call test, 
the project manager will help me to find out that I already explained for you in the very first beginning lesson, find out the model W uh, DIO for us from the NOS model here, right? So we are not going to give directly the W DIO tab runner. So if we put something like this, it will be failed. So we need another uh, double hyphen size here to distinguish between the parameter for for not environment and the parameter for the module. So you need to do something like this. Okay. So just copy this one first, and then you come back to your execution here. Of something wrong. Copy. And here we are going to run the source smart test first. Okay. Off. Smart test. So you don't forget this thing. Okay. Just pay attention. And then you enter. Uh, could not execute run. Uh, okay, so it's not go into uh, this one dot try and enter. Can the file model man? Cannot file model man. So the here right? It could require man. It should be the same. We are missing this. Should be, should be the same here, right? Oh, I'm missing this one. Missing capabilities. Why we are missing capabilities? Typo here. Uh, capabilities. Capability, this is the same, right? Let's take a look against the command line here. Have an open source mark. Where is it? Oh, I see what a problem because I forgot to uh, export the config file like we did here, right? We forgot to export. So that means it will be something when I run it. So it will be missing some capa capability, something like that. So that's why we got missing capability here. So we need to export the config object outside. So let's export an object with the name config equal our config here and everything should be fine right now. Oh, not bad. The source mark you specify don't exist in your config file or doesn't contain any file. Oh, should be smart tag. Smart tag. Enter. Again. Smart tag. We have we have choose here. We have smart tag specify don't exist. Uh, here should be something like that. Now it's sending to Appium server, but it just learns. I think it just learns the you know the um, application, and then everything will be bad because we don't have anything like the real testing there. Just expect true to be true because just want to see the test reports, and I just want to see something like whether we can run uh, separate this. Source. So everything is now okay. If you go back to the test report here, you will see something more related to the smart tag. Here you can see smart test for Samsung and smart tag for emulator here. Yep, smart zero zero one and two and same thing here. So if you go to the graph, 
you will see something like this critical and no more everything just look like before but now uh, now you can run uh, test shoes separate uh, separately here let me summary again so you create a new tag configuration file or if you you don't want to create another tag configuration file that is so okay as well you just need to confess another option that exists here and inside this object you will have your group first group second group and then you specify which test script that you want to uh, execute and it's very important to remember this one we have a two double hyphen size here and you specify which switch you want to run that will run for you okay so see you from the next tutorial bye for now